Hey guys, what is going on? Camps, Pebs and Bushcraft here, and I'm finally back on the channel doing videos. Uh, I had a massive break because I kind of went off the whole thing for a bit. Well, not went off, it's just I didn't have no video ideas. But I'm back into it. I'm going to start Bushcraft up and everything again. And to start off, I've just brought you, show my new rucksack. This is a Swedish Swedish Army issue LK35 rucksack. Is well known in the bushcraft community as one of the best bags and one of the prepping bags. Uh, this one I bought for twenty five pound on eBay, with I believe was free delivery, which was really good considering the condition of it. As you can see, all of this. Uh, Material is perfect, triple stitched on the yeah, seams. Um, the the shoulder pads, as people said in videos. Hang on, let me put this down on the floor. And that's good, but you could always replace it. Uh, yeah, you can see, but there's a bit worn out where it's been in the military and all that. This it was an actual used one, I believe. Uh, it's in really good condition considering it was used. Um, as I said, it was thirty-five pound, uh, twenty-five pound even. The frame's in good condition. The shoulder straps, everything's just in good condition. Uh, I've kind of stuffed it up with pillows at the moment to show you uh, what it is full. As you can see down here, you could put like a camping mat or something down here. I want to take it to a seamstress and actually let me pull that out. There we go. I actually want to get that removed. Like properly, I want to put either a Union Jack or Wash Flag on there. I've already started looking at designs to put in there because I just don't like the whole see for thing that would really be for military use or something like that. Just uh, to tell whose bags who. I don't really need that. I just